Nothing better than controlling your own destiny, and that's what Utah gets to do the rest of the season. Welcome inside our San Francisco studios. It's Inside Pac-12 Football, the digital edition. Mike Am joined by 12-year NFL vet and All-American at USC at the wide receiver spot, Curtis Conway, and a man who won a Heisman Trophy in Matt Liner. Guys, this is an interesting scenario because I think a lot of people will focus in on Utah's one loss on the season, but if you look the rest of the way, road to the Pac-12 title game is actually shaping up pretty good for Kyle Winningham's team. Only Pac-12 South team with just one conference loss. They go undefeated over the final four games. They're playing at Levi's Stadium against a team from the North. The rest of that schedule at Washington, at Arizona, UCLA, which could be a huge one. And they close things out with Colorado. The focus right now is on this Washington opponent that defensively, these are two of the best defenses that we have right now in the Pac-12 conference. And in Matt, in your mind, I mean, what's right now the, the plan of attack if you're Kyle? Well, well, this is a game that I would be really nervous about if I'm Utah because Washington presents such a unique challenge to this offense. Utah, you know, based their success on running the football with Devontae Booker. Passing is their third option. It goes Devontae Booker, they try to get Travis Wilson in the run game, and then they resort to the pass. Well, Washington's front seven is as good as anybody in the Pac-12 conference. And I'll tell you what, they are going to stack the box, they are going to shut down Devontae Booker, and they're going to put the ball and the game or the, the ball in the, in the hands of Travis Wilson, force him to throw the football. I'm nervous if I'm Utah because Travis Wilson has, has struggled. I, I, was, I respect him. I, I love him as a young kid. But this guy, they're not going to throw the ball 300 yards for a game. They're, he's not going to throw the ball 25 to 30 times. So uh, they better establish a consistent run game if they want to have success on offense. Yeah, and if they start to pass the ball, I really like Washington's secondary. This secondary flat out get after, not just the defense. You talk about as a whole, you talk about their front seven. But their secondary is pretty good. Now go back to that USC game. I mean, they were all over those USC receivers, and I think yep. that Utah receivers, they're not as good right now as USC. And when you look at the man-to-man -man coverage that Washington can play, Matt, I'm with you. I think Washington is going to stack the box, and they're going to rely on their secondary, King and, and, and Jones, to play man-to-man. -man. You got Baker, Bubba Baker, uh, Bo uh, Buda, Buda Baker, Baker, I'm sorry, at safety. I like that. I, I love the secondary. I think they can handle man-to-man -man against Utah. I'm with you, man. I don't. Th I think it's gonna. I think it's gonna be a tough, a, a tougher game than uh, people think. Utah and Washington, and they're going on the road. Yeah. They're going to Washington. Yeah, I think a lot of credit you tip the cap to Chris Peterson and the job that he's done because you lose all that talent on defense from a year ago that's play now playing on Sundays oh, yeah. and defensively still leading the pack. I mean, this and where did that offense come from last week with Washington? Exactly. I mean, it was, if they play like that, they, they get rolling. I mean, and they beat USC early on. They can be, uh, play with anybody. And both of you guys love Jake Browning at yeah, the start he's of the year. Up and down, but he's got a lot of potential coming off of his best game of the season we watched it against Arizona once again for everything that's happening around the conference all you have to do follow us on Twitter at Pac-12 Networks and on Saturday night at the end of the night it's Pac-12 final score for a complete recap of everything that has happened in week number 10 in the conference.